Have a good day. Early Beast here, and ever since I was a young lad in the late 80s and early 90s, I've always dreamt about taking over the world. It's me again. I am your worst enemy. I am going to take over the world. Yeah. That is, until the summer of 2006, when I completed my summer class and barely graduated from college, realizing that life is going to take a giant shit all over your head. Until... Now, back in August of 2016, 23 years after the original Crystal Pepsi was pulled from store shelves forever, Pepsi decided for a limited time to re-release it. Then again in January of 2017, Pepsi said via Twitter, and I quote, Crystal Pepsi will be in stores for a limited time, and when it's gone, it's gone. Only to announce on July 20th, 2017, that Crystal Pepsi will be making its final limited time release until October 6th, and when it's gone, it is gone for now. So what all that is equated to is me going out to all of my local grocery stores and clearing the shelves and coolers of Crystal Pepsi limited time after limited time after limited time with the goal to fill the refrigerator in the garage and when that becomes full to buy another refrigerator and fill that with Crystal Pepsi. But now, I might not have to. Now a few minutes ago, these packages arrived at my front doorstep addressed to the LA Beast and based on seeing that one of them is a refrigerator, I think I may have an idea of what's in the box. expecting that a personalized crystal Pepsi refrigerator filled with two cases of limited edition LA Beast Crystal Pepsi and there's a note uh, that came with the refrigerator and I will read it now it says dear Kevin thank you for being such a devoted crystal Pepsi advocate and loyal Pepsi supporter throughout the years we know that crystal Pepsi means a lot to you and your story means a lot to us that's why we wanted to send you something to express our appreciation. Thank you for sharing your story and for all of your support, the Crystal Pepsi team. I am speechless. Now as I stare at my very own personalized Crystal Pepsi mini fridge as it stares right back at me, my eyes are blinded with beauty. And from the bottom of my heart, I, I would like to say thank you to Pepsi uh, for this very generous gift and for, for putting up with my shenanigans for the past two years, uh, this, this means a lot. And, and let me just say this until the next limited time Crystal Pepsi release, that a lot of people have fought hard for Crystal Pepsi's return, dating all the way back to the 2008 presidential election, where this guy shaved his balls for Crystal Pepsi, or back in 2010, when this woman was fighting for her love of the drink. And to everybody before, during, and after the Crystal Pepsi campaign that I was a part of, everybody who has worked hard deserves the credit as well. This, however, is pretty insane, and it, it does. It just goes to show that nothing is impossible if you put your mind to it. I have zero idea what Pepsi plans to do. These might just be a personalized gift, uh, but it wouldn't hurt to pick up the phone and call Pepsi and ask about the LA Beast limited edition Crystal Pepsis to see if they're going to be available or not. Uh, yeah, picking up the phone. That's how Crystal Pepsi exists.
today. Now as I pour this Crystal Pepsi into this ice cold glass and enjoy it, uh, I hope that you can enjoy this bonus footage of when I tried to hover on a hoverboard like Marty McFly from the movie Back to the Future 2. And the reason why it's bonus footage is because it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. So uh, without further ado, I raise this Crystal Pepsi to the LA Beast Nation and to the Crystal Pepsi Nation and to Pepsi. Thank you for this sweet, sweet gift of the nectar of the gods. And, and, and thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Have a Crystal Pepsi day. Wow. Oh, that is good. Yeah. LA Beast here, and as you can see, I'm sweating profusely because this is take number 57, and that's because I'm wearing this Marty McFly Back to the Future jacket and hat, which don't have any air vents. And what I plan on doing today is demonstrating how to hover on a hoverboard like Marty McFly does in Back to the Future 2. And it's not going to be easy. First, I went out to Home Depot and got an aluminum metal hose, which I then cut down the middle to kind of use as a cast that would wrap around my leg. Next, I took an old pair of jeans and a pair of scissors, and I cut a slit directly down the middle of the right pant leg, and after I molded that aluminum hose to my leg, I took that cast and inserted it into the right legging of the pants. So when everything is set up and ready to go, it will look like my right leg is inside of the pants when in reality it is doing something completely different and I'll explain that in a second. I cut two tiny little holes in the bottom of the jeans, one in the front and one in the back and then I used zip ties to zip tie the shoe to the bottom of the jeans so when everything is said and done it actually looks like a real leg as you can see and to finish off the process you take another pair of jeans of the same color you put those on and then I carefully slid on the jean contraption that I made and you take a bucket or you take a chair and your right leg is outside of the pants uh, on resting on the bucket and then all you do is you take your right foot and you step up onto the bucket and from behind it gives the illusion that you're levitating. <sighs> I somehow got that out after the fifth take. The tricky part for me was actually keeping my right leg hidden behind the fake leg, but somehow I managed to get these shots, as you can see. So with that said, if you have an extra eight or nine hours, leave in the comments below who you think is going to win because I already know who won because I'm filming this yesterday. I'm going to bed. Have a good day.